Hey, it's T. Marie. Welcome back to my channel. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe. So for today's video, I am going to show you guys how to lay your lace frontal wig. We are going to melt this frontal, y'all, for real. I'm using rubbing alcohol on my hairline just to make sure that it's free of any oil so that way our adhesive will stay. So I'm using the Got To Be Glued. It is a gel, not a glue, um, on my edges to just lay everything down and make sure everything is out of the way. When I'm putting the stocking cap over my head, it's going to go as far down as possible and you'll see the gas to be glue coming through, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going in with my toothbrush and just making sure that the product gets onto my stocking cap. This is my got to be glued free spray. I'm going to go ahead and spray this on top of my got to be glued gel and I'll wait until it gets hard and I'll go ahead and cut the stocking cap. You want to be careful when you're cutting this, but you also want to cut close enough to your hairline um, where the adhesive is stuck to your hairline. I'm going back in with my free spray just to make sure that um, the edge of the stocking cap doesn't roll because you can see that through the frontal. You'll see me use the back of my comb a lot in this video, only because when you use your fingers, a lot of the oils on your hands can get into the adhesive and it will make your lace not stay. If you haven't already watched part one and part two of my wig series, I will link them down below in the description box. So make sure to check those out. So again, I'm going back in with the freeze spray just to make sure that the cap is laid down. So I'm cutting away some of the excess cap that didn't stick too well. And um, once I do that, I'll go back in again with my freeze spray just to make sure everything is laid down. I did blow dry the cap off camera. Um, you can either blow dry it or let it air dry, but of course blow drying is a lot faster and make sure it's on the cool setting. So I'm going in with my foundation that I have from L'Oreal, my true match, which I love. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dab this on my cap just to make sure that when I'm parting my wig, it is the same color as my skin or my scalp. You'll also see me dabbing my hairline a lot with alcohol just to make sure that the adhesive sticks and my wig is laid and slayed. Okay, now it's time to put my wig on. I don't have a name for her yet, but y'all can name her in the comments section. So FYI, this is my first time doing a frontal install and what worked for me is that I use the freeze spray only to lay my wig down. The reason I did that was because it dries really, really fast. You don't have to sit there with the blow dryer and, you know, letting your, um, your gel finish drying and all that extra stuff. I ain't had time for that. Um, but this worked for me. So this looks really awkward, but I'm holding the wig down with one hand and using the back of my comb to press the lace into the free spray. And I'm just making sure that there are no like extra hairs or flyaways or anything like that that are going to stick into my adhesive. I am holding down the lace with one hand or one finger and using the comb to comb back the hair so that way it does lay very seamlessly. Thank you. 
I'm going back in with my rubbing alcohol just to get some of the residue um, off of my forehead. I'm using my foundation and I'm going in softly um, just to press it into the lace just to make sure it effortlessly um, blends in with my skin. Now it's time for the baby hairs. I wasn't going to do any at first, but I decided to go ahead and do it just for the sake of this video since it is a wig series. So I got to kind of show it all, um, but I'm just going to do a few little swoops in the front. Um, and yeah, it took me a couple times before I got this right. <laughs> I am using the Got To Be Glued Black Bottle Gel for the baby hairs. So remember I used the freeze spray to lay down the lace wig and I'm using the gel to lay my edges down. So I'm tying my hair down just to let it dry and then I will be back. So I don't know if y'all noticed, but I decided to change my part from a side part to a middle part. Um, my baby hairs are pretty laid down. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with my argan oil with my hair. I love this stuff by the way. I'll link that below as well. This is the secret to keeping your lace really laid and making it look very natural like it's growing out of your scalp. So I'm just using this hot comb just to make all the hairs lay in the direction that I want it to lay. Okay, like I'm really feeling this frontal. I had to stop for a second and check myself out. Yes, yeah, so I wasn't feeling that little swoop thing going on right there. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna fix that. not bad for my first time i have to give myself a pat on the back i'm pretty sure you know as i continue to do this i'm gonna change certain things um and then i'll also do like an updated um frontal install for y'all there were a few flyaways so i just decided to put a little bit of water on it i really love how this turned out just how it's laying this color is everything you heard that er thing. <laughs> um, so the last thing that I need to do is go in with my concealer um, right in the part just to make it have that extra umph that it was missing. We are done with this wig. Thank you for sticking with me through this 10 minute video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for part four, where I will style and slay this wig again. Yes. <laughs>